So we're not looking at you? No, all this. Already 18 thumbs up. Mm -hmm. All right, so much better. We're not even speaking. <laughs> I'm hoping it's better. How goes it, you guys? Can anyone hear or not hear? Or? Here, here, or no here. Look, babe. Like, look how nice. 100 at 10. That's how that, that's how amazing. 100 at 10. 100 speed and then 10%. That looks good. A little paper cut somewhere. Nah, that's not that sharp. We tried maybe, but. So, is it any better? Oh, you can't hear. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Tie, tie, tie. So. Yeah, it's gonna get warm, but I want to make sure that you guys can hear and all the things. So, if you didn't hear me earlier, this is a board that I got from Blick. It is a cradle board. It was one of the cheapest things they had, so of course, I'm putting purple fingerprints all over it. Awesome. Um, it has a little bit of a texture to it that I tried to sand and, um, gesso out but there's still a bit of a texture but that might make something interesting happen so we'll just explore together also like I was saying um, I've had a lot of people ask me about doing these alcohol ink bubbles and I did some research there's a lot of people teaching classes about it there aren't that many people doing videos on it why not be the one that um, puts it out there, you know? You do. You know. But first, sippy sippy, happy Memorial Day. <sighs> Is it safe to apply heat to alcohol ink? And I do it all the time. JJ, I'm super pumped too. I hope it works. I did beat. Look, I did a test on the paper over there, and it looks like it probably will work. I don't know. My headphones work awesome. Um, so right now I have just the cheapest Chardonnay ever invented. Chardonnay. So on that paper that you were pouring on yesterday, I did a test of the rings, the bubbles. Is that on fire? Is it on fire? No. Well, I mean, you're on fire. So for the first one, I put color down, then added the cup. They look like they were done the same exact way. So what I'm gonna do, you can do it two ways. You can either put all the color down and then put things on your surface to dry around if you're gonna stand there you can just do you want this i was just gonna i can't see it from over here but i can see it right here um you can either do your alcohol ink stuff first and then add whatever you're gonna use as a resist uh, or you can put the resist down first and then Add your colors. It's difficult to do it the second way because you can't like pick it up, tilt it, and maneuver it. So we're going to put the color down and then do the circles after. 
thank you. I didn't even think about that thing. So let's get started. I'm using 91% alcohol. This particular brand is Mountain Falls. It is who I have been using for all of my yeah, nope all alcohol stuff. And um, I'm hoping it does well right here. I was hoping, is Jen in here? Because I need alcoholic advice if I'm doing anything that I probably shouldn't do. But I haven't seen her, so. Yellow. <clears throat> I hope you can make it. Oh, never gonna be handed. What were we at, like $2 for the clocks? I think so. Well, you're just burning incense in the in the thing with all the other incense. Well, I knew you like, burned incense in there. I thought you. No, just... you you have to take. Dave, you're trying to start this on fire. Oops! I didn't mean it. No oops. Didn't what see Jen. Girl thing. What? So I don't know where. You have to put it in an incense holder. Well, all the dust was in there, so I thought that's what that was. So hopefully Jen will show up. If not, I'll message her after and either be excited or not so excited. What's up, Wally? Trying to do it for you. Did it wrong. What is on your phone? Yeah, so it's been a day. So I'm adding a lot of alcohol down because I feel like everything blends out better that way. That could be completely false, but that's how I do. Her Facebook was talking about bad weather. Hey Scarlett. So Julie, this is a large cradle board that is just, um, Hey Stormy. It's just a wooden cradle board, but it's a cheap one. So there's like a lot of funky textures. Which I'm gonna try to work around. We'll see. Hey Rebecca. So anytime you work with gold, you're supposed to shake it up really well. This one is rich gold. I usually use just regular gold, but I have no idea what that bottle is. Thank you, Shad. So far, the colors I've used are Sunshine Yellow by Ranger, Stream by Ranger, Purple by Zig, and is going to be Rich Gold by Pinata. Hockey. I didn't know hockey was on right now. Is hockey still a thing right now? It's probably Stanley Cup. I'm not adding that much gold because just as with resin, it will mm. take over real easy. I said I'm not going to add a lot, and then it just spills out. Y'all, my day. Sippy, sippy. Pink. little heat gun down there but I'm gonna use this one I hope you guys can hear me thanks Julie I actually have a blending solution right here hope you can hear me with um this heat gun going if not, apologies in advance. So I have no heat on the heat gun right now. It's just air. 
And that's because I just want to get the colors working with each other. Not really interested in doing any effects just yet. These colors look so great when they start to blend together. Gold. Do more gold? Yeah. From back here, it looks like there's like chunks that you I like look the, at it, like floating. I love the flex. I'm not digging that part. You gotta tell me before I mess it up. Yeah, that you, that's like whenever I do something. All right. So, on to the bubbles. And the cradle board I just prepped with um, spray gesso and sanded it down with a 220 and a 400 grit. And I did that like four times. So, where do I want my bubbles, do you think? What, what do you mean, how are you gonna do bubbles? I'm gonna do your feet. Right, I mean, how are you gonna do those? Let's just start out right here. So, I'm weighing them down because I don't want anything getting in there. Mm -hmm. And I've got three different sizes I've got my regular mixing cup. You should do a small one and then put that over that. Do a small one and then put that over. So mm. it's like inside of, inside of itself. Mm. <laughs> It'd be cool if it works. But we'll see. Um, so Doc Martens, I don't think those are alcohol inks. I think those are more like just India inks. Yeah, so they will not work the same. Mary Jane, thank you. I hope you've had an amazing day. Sorry for the extreme close-up. I want to do a bigger circle too. Let's get get one of those. Extreme big. And my phone looks great, doesn't it, guys? So you just leave it on there? Give me a second. Oh, you probably do the heat gun, huh? How do you think, B, right here? I would make it to where it goes out and come back in. You know what I'm saying? Like out, out, and come back in. <clears throat> yeah, that's fun. Let's adjust these just a little bit. Since we haven't added any heat yet, we can adjust how these little dudes are doing. Sorry, I, I literally just barely touched this for it to blow up and it just kind of blows up on its own. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> Ladies. I feel like if there's any we don't like, you can just buff them out, you know? Where's Judy? I'm sure she's back there somewhere. Where do you think, B? There's a lot and there's some less. Hey, 
your day. You had an amazing day. Oh, it's lovely area here. <clears throat> Stop moving. Mm. What if you did one that was solid? Um, standing? Huh? One what that's solid? A uh, circle. I haven't done that much research. Right, I'm out of weighted things. It's e-science. Jeff, are you sick? No. I'm not. All right. We've got it set up. I need a sippy and then let's get to drying, right? All right. I'm scared. So now I'm going to turn a little bit of the heat up so that it'll dry faster. Hey, Amber. What is that, Bowie? What is that? What is that? He said he's not sure. Hey, Carol. That's not going to work unless I weigh these little doodads down. What do I have that's heavy? What if you got a, a straw and blew on it and make bubbles? That would just dry it, right? Or like, wouldn't it cause bubbles? Johnny was doing that today to some little um, pieces. I think if you, there's a way to do that. Like you have to add like dishwashing soap. So why wouldn't you? That'd be fun. All right, you guys, I'm going to kind of take you around and show you what she's doing here. I'm going to add a couple extra dots of ink in some areas. And that's going to blow around the circle and give us a, like a deeper ring in theory. I haven't actually done this before. Shocker, I know. Me, wing it. Right now, I'm only really concerned with drawing around my circle. I'm gonna do all the exterior artwork after. I think this is gonna look amazing because I love circles. Doing it for you, my love. What is this? Violet.
I'm trying to get you guys in there. In the thick of it here. So y'all can see. Sorry, I can't see what you're saying right now, y'all. They're talking amongst themselves. Oh, I forgot you could see. Looks sad. Just leave that alone. We're like... <laughs> Bowie! You come here? Say hi to the people? <laughs> no? I'm kind of busy right now, Dad. Come here. Billy, come say hi. Come say hi. <laughs> oh, goodness. So did you do this on accident or did you see this somebody doing this? Someone asked me to do a video on the bubbles. And so I had to I had not long to look up, but I looked up a little bit today. And of course there aren't that many people teaching it. I did see an event bright one that someone's doing. I have no idea why it's looking splashy. It may be because of the type of wood I'm doing it on. But I think it just has an extra little bit of texture. That's crazy that it's giving it like a really big ring right here. I think because it's drying out here and then there's stuff under there and then it comes out. So it, I think you're right. Maybe that's what it makes the rings. How much heat do you have on there? A little bit more high? than half.
Your blending solution just doesn't want to dry. I might have to crank it up a little bit over here. Because everywhere that doesn't have a blending solution is fairly well evaporated. I'm gonna get impatient in a minute and just kick up the volume of the heat. Yeah, but, but there's nothing that could get underneath there, right? I can't, yeah, it'll, because it's, it's not completely flush surface, so there's gonna be a little bit of alcohol under this. I wanna have it as dry as possible. What if you just tilt it up and push that? Just to keep on the new thing. You can do one small test. Let's see what just it kind of tilt it. Just pick it up. I'm probably just blowing. I know, but it's probably oh, drying. Right. And the crease. I think it's probably blown in there. Can you take it off? Yeah. So I have these handy dandy alcohol ones. Oh, they can't see what we just did. They can feel them. Sorry, y'all. I'll do another one on that side. I want it to be a little bit more like a rounded. So I'm just taking an alcohol rag. Try this, babe. Take my shield. You know I brought that over here, right? Okay, well. Yeah, do it. There you go. I didn't know that. I just, I thought you, I thought it was just here. Well, one of the use things it if I you're going to use it. <laughs> I was going to get to that point. But I saw someone doing it with this too. But I don't think it's going to give like the cute little ring. Like that's kind of fun. Not as fun. It's just another yeah, way of doing it, is. it. It's a whole technique. Mm -hmm. Where did you get this stencil from? What do you call it? Um, I can make one. Um, the thing is, I don't know how how to do those uh, the numbers. Um, you can get them at Hobby Lobby or at Azel Art Supply or anywhere. You can probably get it on online. Sure. I like it when there's little dots on the outside. Yeah, I wonder if this would work. You could probably be more precise and use a Q-tip. I'm sure that's good, babe. It doesn't look like it, but it's 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 there. <laughs> Man. Yeah, but it's there though. So it's gonna be so cute. It'll it'll still be cute. I probably did it when you did uh hit it with the brag, like just press on it. Okay. I still think it looks like good.
on. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> You could use masking fluid, and in fact, I have that Kilty masking fluid. I just haven't brought it over. Yeah, that's fun. That's what I wanted it to look like. Where's my this? Bye, Cherie. Too monotone. Mm, good. I just want to lighten the inside of it up just a little bit. Hi, Carrie. How are you? You can really see the texture of the wood in, in this circle. I would just let them dry like that because they're going to dry lighter, right? Just because the alcohol. I think they're basically. Dry. I'll let the next one just dry regular. Let's take some of these apart. Did you say how to carry? Um, yeah. I was wondering because she just said what's up. Alcohol rags are handy, dandy. <laughs> Not much. Yeah, I just put it dry. Oh, yeah. Look at it through the camera. It looks great. Oh yeah, it does look better on camera. You can like push down on it and see how much, like if there's still a lot of alcohol under it. It's a lot under yours. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit it with just a little bit of heat. I've just been lifting it up kind of when the heat goes by it. And it really kind of traps the heat in there and it dries it a little. Yeah. It's fun. I know you got this big one. <laughs> I forgot all about it. I'm just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you ready? Let's get. Let me get to the side. Do it. Look how fun that is, y'all. See, that was such a great idea. Come to the trouble side of town over here. I'm just cleaning up the circle a little bit. Making it more like evident. All right.
That one has little speckles That's in it. That's fun. Looks like there was, ooh. Look at the future looks. Justine said, oh, this is live. <laughs> Justine, you know. Justine, um, you know that that little doll was asking about you from the... Uh, Yara Malone? From, yeah, from Charlie's. From Charlie's. Yeah, we got an email. Yeah, just flips it up. The little doll that was uh, in the up bed. in your bed from Charlie's Cottage. Hi, Tammy. Ooh, what if there was a hole in the top of that and you just... Whoa! Let's give you a uh, drone shot. Nay, nay. What are all these people just jumping in here? For this fan. That's fun. We haven't waited too long to try this. Yep. It is now on there. If you were to do this with like Yupo paper though, it would um, it would come off a lot easier because it's this is wood. So what I could do is use white alcohol ink. Look at that hair. <laughs> Oh, babe, it looks cute. You look like a surfer girl. Cute. Mm. I really wanted to put more dots in this. What do you, how do you think I'm going to... I need a paintbrush. Shitty one. Talking about. Your hair. <laughs> Listen, y'all. I don't have time to get pretty every day. In fact, most days I just live the ratchet life. You know? Hey Pamela, um, they were on the board so I could make these circles. And now I'm going to attempt to create faux circles. No idea if it's gonna work, but. Faux circles? I'm gonna try to paint them in with alcohol ink. I don't know what it's gonna do. Well, it's gonna go underneath there and it won't, it won't be a defined circle. Are any of them defined circles? All right. We'll just do a little one and see. Yeah, take some of that paint off, yeah. Almost make it kind of dry brushy, just cause. Well, 
Well, it almost looked 3D. That's where it goes. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, start. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Where's the Bowie said all the Bowie beans? He's probably in the couch by this or on the bed. Couch crevice? That sounds really weird. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's try this again. But with a clean brush. <sighs> well, it bled out a little bit, but. Oh, sorry. I'll move the camera. They can't see you? No, I'm doing such small stuff. I kind of was just thinking about bringing them over. So I'm starting out like not too heavy with the paint, but definitely fading as I get to the edge of this because it's gonna go under, which is fine. But I wanna be able to control it as much as I can. I feel like B, I could hand you this and you can make it look like an actual bubble. Mm. I couldn't. No, not with how runny. Like it would just keep smearing, it would just keep like blending. So if you guys don't want to do the big like cup deal, you could also just um, get one of these guys. Sour cream. White alcohol ink, I still don't know how to use it like with like a piece. Um, I need to give him his PM meds. Like, um, I still don't know how to just like add it to an alcohol ink painting and make it work. It still doesn't work for me to do that. I hope you feel better soon, Mandy. Okay. Not sure about that one. It's a little bit more like it. You could probably stand here and do alcohol ink dots like this all day. I know I'm probably going to end up spilling this. What do you think? Do you still keep at it with this thing? Ooh. Can I 
definitely don't just do white. Mix some alcohol in it so it's not crazy opaque. I'm not trying to like add color. I'm trying to remove color, but since this board basically soaked up everything, I'm having to white it out and then remove the color. some alcohol into the white. Hope I didn't just ruin it, but oh well. You can also do this another way with um, if you're really good with a heat gun. Like Jen can do rings. I, I have no idea how she does it. She showed me, but every time I try to do it, it does not look the same. I think that might work better than adding the cups unless you like the messy, yeah. wonky ring look, which is fine. Thanks, Kim. So I'm probably going to add a lot more rings beyond what I do in this video. I just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of what you could do. Thank you, Beyond. Beyond, thank you. How's class going? Not a good look, but we're gonna wipe it up anyways. These alcohol wipes, I think, are only like 70%. I See if I can make it like not as round. And kind of push some of that color out so it gives that harder edge. It's kind of like when I've like talked about geodes before, I find beauty in imperfections. Like, of course, symmetrical things are pretty, but. Why don't you use like a big brush? Because I didn't think I was going to do this until I just decided to. Y'all, it is getting warm in the studio. How hot was it today? Do you know? Mm -hmm. it, was, it was cool. Mm -hmm. Did you get a big brush? Yeah. I don't know. Hey, Nene, sorry. Did you ask hey, a Nene. question? Did I miss it? So much better, thanks B. Why don't you just soak a rag in alcohol? I kind of 
figured that's what this was because it's an alcohol. With 70% on it and you keep wiping it off. Like, I mean, it would, you, you would just you have a rag, a clean rag. like this sunset look in here. So by adding more alcohol inside of these bubbles, it'll give a darker outside ring. another big ring, the hollowed one. I really like this and I really like this. I feel like they just don't go together because this dark is just here. Yeah, that's it's so busy over there. So this is what I would do. Colorful bubble is a different piece. The colors are amazing. So I'm oh. loving that. Heather, I prepped it with spray gesso, a couple coats. I'm so glad you thought that because that's what I was thinking. So Jeff's taking a. Like, that's what happened. Like, this part touched so that's what gave it that wipey look but I don't know if so Jeff's using a um, a rag soaked in 91% to wipe around the circles to give it like a halo. So it's beautiful. I just feel like dark is still there but I don't really want it to go at this point either sorry y'all right Liz Thank I could do an awesome space thing with this sorry y'all Jeff got a call We got rid of them. Jen sent me a bunch of these little smaller than a Q tip. Things. I'm just gonna 
See if I can use that to my nice Thanks for helping me, baby. I love those. Now, in order to make sure that these are like vertical, I'm lining up the bottom ridge of this. Oops, can you adjust that? I'm lining up the bottom ridge. Chelsea, are you talking about the painting or the boards? Why does it do that? Why does it just go in and out like a, like the, the like when I just zoom it in a little bit, it goes zoom real lot and then it goes back, which does not make sense. And how much for? I'm not sure if you're asking about the piece or the board. Uh. That's really awesome. Oh. Um, I haven't, I'm not done with it yet, but. Send me an email and Look we can. That. How crazy is that? Talk about it. Do you want it resin? I got one of those like alcohol ink resist pens. This would be a lot easier. These definitely look a lot more impressive in the dark painted areas. Keep that in mind. Check with her roommates to see if they want it. Who's your roommate? Chelsea. Hey. Okay. That was gonna look cooler in my head. But at least now I have a guideline. Don't get excited, Moo. It's okay. I'm going to add more alcohol. Over there. Over there. Chelsea, everything I pay is for sale. Forever and always. Rent's coming up. Kelly, mm -mm. stop. Here, come over here. Uh, there you go. I'm a Beyonce fan. I love that thing. I'm adding a drop of the white alcohol ink into some of these because they're just not clouding out like I want them to. Calm down, Liz. It's fun. So look, over here, I just put this cap down. 
right there. I put, I, I dunked it in alcohol, not the whole thing, but just the rim, and I kind of dabbed it off and just laid it on there. And you can see how it's making like a ring around it. So I'm just gonna leave it there. I think that looks pretty fun. Jen's okay. What's wrong with Jen? I don't know. I just haven't heard from her today. She's probably busy. It's like extreme up close, extreme back. Extreme up close, extreme back. No middle. Basically like cookie cuttering without a cookie cutter. Or cookies. Alcohol inks are so fun. You can do whatever you want to do with them and then leave them alone for a little while and come back and decide to do more. Kind of like if you've ever done oil paints. It's a lot like that. You can reactivate it. Look at that little one. <laughs> Bowie. Bowie, you look like a baby king of the jungle. <laughs> You're just a lion doing what lions do. You are. Thank you, Claudia. Um, Chelsea, basically all of my videos are tutorials. But you mean just like a step-by-step -step instead of all the chatter? I can put one out for sure. Now Diane's gonna be immersing. If you have friends in your area that can help you with your paintings, I highly recommend getting them into art too. This piece wouldn't be as beautiful if Jeff hadn't, like, if he didn't give me his thoughts. Yeah, you would have made it. I'm just adding what I, how I think a circle. Thanks, Nene. She's not online. Agreed, sour cream. Really like these. 
Can you dip some in like this red color and then put it over here? So that like red the, color? This wherever you're putting in the deep. And then that way it's um Like, you know what I mean? Jenna and Tornado's in here today. Well, then I for real want to hear from her. need something here to bring it together, but I don't know what. I don't know what. Yeah. We haven't figured out a San Francisco class yet, but it is. It's in the, it's in the works. I'm trying to get this. Coast. You really enjoy the inks. East Coast class down. <clears throat> Hopefully, we get that figured out before time. Oh, it just kind of. We don't have Jacksonville dates yet. It'll be it'll be sometime in late September. Still trying to figure out a good venue. We had a venue and then they said their schedule is a little crazy, which didn't make sense. So we're gonna go we're gonna go visit them uh, next month. We're gonna drive down to Jacksonville. Go scope some some spots out. I think that's like making it even. There's a level on it. like instruct more on this but I'm just literally trying to just figure it out as I go right now you can stop here in Northwest Florida for a visit what part of Florida I think you should take some of those and then go that way and then you should be done Thanks. Oh, 
on. I don't I don't know that I invented that. Jeff uses stencils often. So that's probably where the idea really came from. It does seem like I have more control with a stencil. But at the same time, the, uh, the paint did get under it a little bit. Well, it, it, it's impossible to like paint something with, like to hand paint a stencil unless you're dabbing it. Mm -hmm. If you paint brush it or, you know, it'll go underneath. Like you can't stop it. My day has been amazing, I agree. Um, I haven't seen ideas in a while. He's been on Facebook. He's been like working on like his grown up job lately. I don't think he's been doing a whole lot of resin stuff. Um, our day's been pretty busy. Trying to get stuff made for y'all. I like that grown-up job. So, that came from, um, my mom used to ask me every time I, like, was arting, what are you going to do for a grown-up job? Which is funny, because she's an artist. I like those dark green. Look at that. Did she put green in it? No, gold. Oh. And it just sits there. Did you do those dots? Yeah. That's good. Um, should I put more dark green circles? Mm -mm. I think we should just keep putting this gold in there. Dry brushing stencils is fun too. This gold. This is just straight um, alcohol ink gold. I think that color is bright gold. We have to check though. And I'm just turning it slightly. This is the gold cap. This is such a little fun activity for like, if you feel like arting but don't want to pay attention really, you just want to, I guess, check out art. Well, this is this is like when you if you get in a funk. And you don't know what to do. This is something perfect to do because you're not you're not creating something. You're just creating. Yeah. Bye, Carol. I love new subs. Miss the beginning. Is this alcohol link and just clear resin? No, I haven't put any resin on it yet. And you. You would think that it would take you a long time to do a bigger piece, but once you get in a groove or have like some little idea of where you're going with it, it takes no time to... I still don't know what I'm going to do to the middle of this piece. I'm very concerned. I'm just putting a little bit of this dark green in on this side so that I can add 
clear on top of it and it'll give me a nice rim of color. Done, are you? Yeah. Have to be done. I really want to add something. It still seems like two parts, but I have no idea. And it may be one of those like think on it, come back to it things. Like, if it were me, I would take some of this dark purple put it right here, take some alcohol, put it right straight through there and just run it through it. Like tilt it, just tilt it perfect in that and stop. Um, I have some, thank you Shy. I have some of that stuff, I just haven't used it yet. I have that um, Kilty ink masking. I really thought this would hollow out better. It looks good like that. Like it looks good with, with it's such a stark color mixed to it. Like especially with the yellow right there. I'll just leave that. like thing at the bottom right <laughs> I'm saying that right there it's just it, there are circles it's not a screw <clears throat> but come here what are, you, what are you running from me <laughs> gotta get you um a large gold ring in the middle That's not a bad idea, and Jeff actually does a lot of Art Nouveau inspired stuff, so maybe I'll get him to do like an offset ring out of this and just gold. Inside of this guy. Can we get your paint pen? Mm -hmm. I would just dip it in that bowl. Of it. Make it very loose. Like I would just go like this. And maybe make it kind of go fat and skinny. I think a sort of dry brush would look fun too. Yeah, I wanted to go through this. Just just enough to where it catches it so it brings that into it as well. Gotcha. see. 
maybe like maybe drip a little like just a teeny bit of alcohol like in some of these spots where there is paint so it kind of like blends in yeah Requesting a drone view. <clears throat> That'd be six dollars. It's hard to walk around this table because there's so much stuff under here. What is he eating? Yeah, I don't I worry about that. On the floor. Well, I threw it under the table. Do you like these little blurbs? Yeah. Call them other than Bowie, drop it. Good boy. That's like right there. Hmm? I agree. I like it when it's a little bit not perfect. I think you should totally try it. Terrible debacle. I really like this thin, the thin areas and this thick one. I need something else though. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Look at that. Yes, this is on board and it's gessoed, spray gessoed. I would do some of that and then leave some of the other part. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Heavy, maybe splotchy. Mm hmm. Set that circle a little bit. Well, that's what I mean by like dripping some of it on there just to kind of make it kind of splatter. Yeah, like, you know. Yeah, that looks great. How can you expect me to almost be done with this when you keep doing fun things? That's yeah. why I keep going. Oh, Wes is probably going to call me again, and I don't know why. He's been texting. <laughs> Did you find your wallet, maybe? No. He would have said something. Hi, Bill. Sorry, I literally am zooming in or zooming out. Let I'm just going to do this last mip, little mip. circle, and I'll leave the rest of this piece for, like, tomorrow. Bowie. Jabai's. Hi, Jenny. You just want to show people my hair, don't you? You look cute, babe. You look super cute. Mm. Cutest one. Mm. So, this is where I'm going to leave it for now. I won't do anything to it. Um... Until I confer with y'all. Dolphin needs color. I know, Diane. You know, when we put resin on this beast, it's really going to, like, look awesome. Oh, thanks, y'all. Cujo or Bowie. Look, get him. Hey, Bowie. It's like he does it on purpose. He knows. Come on, Buzz. 
He just came up to me and was like, Saeed. Okay. You okay? No way. All right, I'm going to take these boys out. You good? You need your cough syrup. All right, you guys. I think so too, Diane. Oh. Do I just have your friend? Is this a problem? He's acting like I have a treat. Oh, really? And then what happened? And then what? Tell him. Tell then him. what? Good, tell him. All right, y'all. Um, thanks for watching and tuning in and seeing what we're up to. Come here. It was super fun trying something new. I will save doing anything to it till we do it together. <laughs> but um, I got a lot of experiments coming up that I want to try with you guys, so stay tuned. Um, be kind to one another. You never know what someone may be going through. And we'll see you guys, what's today, Monday? Tomorrow at 2 p.m. Central Standard, Dallas, Texas, United States time. Till then, bye. I said bye. And Alexa, play Baby Shark. <laughs>